Hello, um, just going to do another one of these uh, explaining kind of videos for uh, that one of these chess songs. This is this, our song called I Learn to See, based on a game that uh, Judith Polgar played when she was 12 years old. Um, I'll show you, I'll go, the, I'll go through the game quickly here. The, the game itself, uh, well, I'll, I'll just show you, there's a kind of a uh, you can see this program does a kind of an analysis of what the openings are called, which I, I don't really know these things up by heart. But the, at this stage of the moves, this is called an open Sicilian, apparently. And now it's Sicilian Rossellino variation. And I think that's it. That's as far as it goes. Um, so it, um, they're kind of developing pieces. Um, Judith Polgar is playing the, the white pieces in this game. And there's a kind of an exchange about to happen in the center here. These pawns are all eyeing each other. Uh, so that pawn kills, obviously this one kills back. Uh, the knight captures, the knight trades, and there's one more take there. So uh, the, the, the black the pair, player playing the black pieces is uh, up one pawn at the moment, but that, but Judith is going to uh, get that pawn back by blocking the bishop's attack and pinning that knight there to the queen, uh, black castles, and then the pawn is recaptured. So this even, uh, even material base. Uh, so here, this is a queen trade offer where the Black knight attacks the queen, but also allows the white bishop to see the black queen. So white could, if she wanted, play um, bishop attacks or bishop takes queen, and then black would take the queen here, and that would be just a, a fair trade. But Judith seems to, at this point, it, I think she seems to have a plan on how to finish this game. And she puts the bishop over here, or sorry, she moves the queen to h4, but now a double attack on the queen. So the queen has to move. And it you have to think that you didn't know where the queen was going to go. It was going to come here to attack this uh, undefended bishop. And that's what happened. And I think Judith's defense of it here with the knight is, is just, uh, it's kind of like a, she knows it's not going to be enough, but it's, it, it's kind of, so it's like a bluff, it seems. The bishop comes to take the pawn. And she moves this very important rook move here. And then the bishop takes out the defender of this undefended bishop. Judith recaptures with the pawn. And now this bishop is free to be taken. So um, black does take the pawn. But this game is now, as Agate Matter says, this game is completely lost. Um, Judith moves the queen in here to threaten the bishop bishop to g6 and then and then queen to or sorry bishop to f6 and then queen to g7 to checkmate the black king so uh this defense the defense is f5 with the queen to mark to to guard that square so the bishop can't go in but uh and this is where the game actually ended uh sorry on this move here where Judith sacrifices her queen for this rook here because she knows that um this is good enough to win now I, in uh, as the game was played uh Judith's, i'm sorry that i don't have her name to hand her, her name is chilena garova um she resigned at this point um uh because of uh these moves are forced from now here on uh king cast to capture the queen he can't go anywhere else the bishop comes to check the king and force it back in it, it can't come out in view of the rook so it has to go back uh, and once it goes back the rook can come down and that's checkmate now the, she has sacrificed her queen but it's no matter she's won the game so it's a really cool um really cool win um unfortunately the game you know, for the sake of this project, the game ended before the checkmate. So the game ended on this 
queen x f8 move and the, but there was only four moves left left to go to show the show the exact checkmate so i decided to include them in the song and in the videos uh but just by using the the keyboard to signify the moves because i thought it'd be nice to show this force checkmate it's kind of a shame that players resign when they when they're beaten in this way sometimes because it'd be nice to see the game play out to its forced kind of final um setting um so judith polgar uh is a hungarian grandmaster and she i think she got to number three in the world when before she kind of stopped playing professionally and nowadays she runs foundations or she educates people about chess and she runs competitions um she has I think she has a, a non for profit. Um, there's a judithpolgar.com, it's the website where you can look her up. Um, and so, yeah, the song is about uh, a kind of encouragement and the difference between encouragement and lack of. Um, he, like, I noticed Stephen with uh, songwriting and music industry in general that people could be dissuaded easily from from like following what they wanted to do with some with negativity and uh, unnecessarily critical uh, commentary from people, you know, uh, and it kind of they get stunted. And I think that's I think that that is how Judith sees um, uh, or maybe saw. I don't know to what degree she still believes it's true, but. Um, that the, the chess was very male orientated and very male driven and there wasn't a lot of encouragement for girls to play um, and a lot of the older grandmasters would maintain that they wouldn't they'd never think that a woman could be the world champion uh, so that's you know that that type of uh, pronouncement is not is not something that's good for someone that's trying to have a dream you know to 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 get somewhere in any vocation um so the you know I, the again i ended on the the root chord for the for the last the last uh, few moves are all queen moves in the actual game um uh, the game, the the four moves that weren't played but were the forcing moves i just left them uh, to uh, to be played by the piano, I didn't sing over the top of them because I just wanted to stay a bit true to the idea of finishing the song proper on the last move that was actually played in the game. Um, so there was four queen moves at the end, so I chose the, the kind of first and last uh, chord, <clears throat> chord one, to be that ending chord. Four of them meant I had to repeat the line kind of thing because there was four chords of the same chord to play, so had to eventually get to a line that was worthy of repeating, which is not always easy. Um, so yeah, the song is about how she had to kind of fight through a lack of a lack of encouragement to get to where she got. And even when she got there, you know, she, recognition didn't come easily. Um, uh, I've stolen some quotes from her from a TED talk that I saw, that I watched of hers, um, where she talks about the different uh, attributes of chess, uh, how she liked to play. She liked to play quite aggressively, and the beauty of chess and how like how quickly the possibilities of moves become uh, massive. So she references that there are more possibilities uh, in chess as as the game goes out into the mid game and, and end game than there are in um, in atoms in the universe was her analogy uh, so yeah I think that's it I'll try to play you the song uh, thank you very much if you show me darkness in darkness I will be if you show me darkness in the dark i'll learn to see but you will have shown me darkness and forever is who you will be the storm on a summer's day the fire that won't go away or pass 
possibilities than atoms in the universe. You are my hero, but you are not my champion. Even at the very top, I had to There's a couple of things in this song, like uh, two queen moves here in close succession that didn't really suit my melody. I had to play, I just play the bass notes quite quickly to get through that exchange. Um, lots of pawn moves here in, the, in these two lines. So those lines had to be quite kind of monotonous because there's five A minor uh, chords to get through because of the five pawn moves in that spot but that's where the pawns are exchanging in the center so yeah you can see all this uh yeah, play out in time with the music in the videos should you wish to partake in the the world of nft okay thank you very much all the best <clears throat>